Whew. Happy October. Welcome to another episode of Claire Hair. So we're gonna address the elephant in the room. I haven't been making videos and I stopped making videos for a little bit because of the fact that um, I don't know what y'all wanna watch. Um, do y'all wanna watch hair tutorials? Um, I am gonna leave my video that I uh, made, like my little short video that I made at the end of um, how I refreshed my hair for my protective styles. Like a lot of people who are now subscribed to me now don't realize that I actually have hair. Like, I know, I know that sounds kind of weird. Like, people are like, oh my God, of course you have hair. I'm talking about like, people be like, some people are coming in on the end piece, not the beginning of when I started three years ago, but um, I do have a lot of hair. It's just time consuming. Like, I'm not gonna lie to you. When I was filming it, I was just like, dang, the scissors right there. But like I said, I love my hair. It's so, like, the end result is worth it every single time. I guess it's kind of like kids. Like, it's a struggle, but at the end of the day, you, you like them, I guess? I wouldn't know. Um, but um, this starts the month of October. I have a lot of cosplays. I have a lot of cosplays set up. Um, a lot of cosplays set up. You know, it's on a cosplay. It's going to be more where my attention is going to be based. And then um, I'm going to finish the year out, but probably starting some changes come January. Um, probably in January, I'll probably start um making my focus more towards my tiktok account we just hit 3600 um supporters on there and that didn't even take energy and here i feel like i'm putting so much energy into this so like i said we'll i'm gonna finish the year out but i just don't want to keep wasting my resources energy and time on that and then um we can go ahead and get into like my main topic today is with Josie and the Pussycats. That's my cosplay inspiration today. Um, I feel like it was one of those Archie comics that people weren't really pressed by. And then Archie is no, it's not, Archie comics aren't as big as DC, Marvel, or even, um, uh, I want to say the Peanut Strip, because I think the Peanut Strip like the longest lasting comic, but um, I can definitely say like I was inspired because I remember watching the movie. I don't know if I remember Josie and the Pussycats movie. Weird movie, but now I'm older. I'm just like, this makes a lot of sense. I was like, this makes, I was like, this makes, uh, I was like, this is making a lot of sense. Like, I don't know. <laughs> I was like, this is, <laughs> I'm trying to get a thumbnail. This is making a lot of sense on with them doing um, programming in the back of it. And then um, a lot of, a lot of as well, I feel like there's like a lot of um, like, what is it, they say product placement. And I feel like product placement is a good and a bad thing. I feel like it's a good thing as in, um, you know, some of these smaller brands get their name out of there. Cause I promise you Supreme was one of the, Supreme, like I said, I'm a, I know about brands, but I don't purchase them. Supreme was one of those brands that it literally, <laughs> it like Supreme was literally one of those brands where it literally came out of nowhere. Like I was like, why are the 12 of you hyping this up? And then everybody started hyping it up because they made exclusive, which is smart. But I enjoyed the movie. There's like, there's just, oh, uh, there's certain songs from the movie that you just still sing. What do you do? Um, like some of the songs were just, just fire, like straight fire. Um, I'm just terrified that they're going to make a remake. I scared. Like whenever I see, um, whenever I see a good movie, I'm just like, I feel like these producers be like, oh, mm. That's a good movie you got there. We can make a remake out of that. I was like, all right, all right. Hey, 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 no touchy, no touchy, no touch. Like I really don't want them to make a remake, but I feel like it's one of those cult classics that like Josie and the Pussycats probably really did what it was supposed to do. Um, I also feel like uh, cosplay as well, AKA Halloween costuming for the month. Um, I wanna see a lot more natural hairstyles being cosplayed. Now, a couple of my cosplays, like I am gonna be wearing a wig, but it's gonna look like a natural hair wig almost. So, but I do wanna see like more, I'm very excited to see like some natural hair cosplay ideas like come out and I wouldn't mind list, like doing a video as we get closer to Halloween, like naming some of them, but I definitely want to see more. Like I wanna see more natural hair themed or you just um, make your own twist on it because like I said, like the main thing, like my biggest fear is that I've been wearing a lot of protective hairstyles lately, but I've been purposely making sure that my protective hairstyles look like my hair, something that could be my hair, something that could, something that could be my hair, something that could um, look similar to my texture because it's just a confidence thing because like, if you go from, no offense, but if you go to like sleek or like loose curls and you go out to yours, you're gonna be like, you know, like, and I know you want like a difference here and there, but just self-esteem, while I feel like my self-esteem is like 
increased even more since I started using hair touches that looks like mine because just like this could be my hair like it's not like I'm like putting on a fantasy it's still me you know but um, I can definitely say I'm definitely excited to see what type of um, cosplay ideas um, I do have my predictions as well for um, uh, Halloween costumes I think I think Little Mermaid's gonna definitely um, Little Mermaid what was else popular this year? I feel like Little Mermaid. I think um, people are going to try to do Megan this year. Um, I also feel like a lot of people are going to be doing a lot of, I want to say She-Hope, but She-Hope kind of came and went, you know, but it's, I'm definitely going to be interested to see what costumes people are doing this year, but definitely for sure. I can definitely see that. Um, I can definitely see that Little Mermaid's just gonna definitely like just take that whatever and then um, of course you know y'all have to have Harley Quinn I feel like a lot of people are gonna do Harley Quinn let's be honest I was like let's be honest uh, a lot of people are gonna do Harley Quinn I feel like it's like a it's like a requirement now I don't know um another one that might people might have forgot about people always do Catwoman or or be like Mean Girls <laughs> clearly I'm a mouse <laughs> I'm a cat you know, so I think a lot of people are gonna do that as well. But um, I'm really excited. I always get excited to see like what type of costumes there are. Um, I also feel like there is this type of judgment when it comes to costumes as well. Cause I just remember, you know, story time, you know, we're just catching up today. Um, I do remember story time of when there was plenty of times where we would go out, like when I was younger in my twenties <laughs> um, and we would go for um, Halloween. And I, I still remember, like I'd wear an outfit. And I'm just like, this is not, this is, I didn't know we were doing lingerie. Like I didn't know we were doing lingerie. I'm not judging at all. Okay. Excuse me. I'm not judging at all, but I didn't know we were doing lingerie because when I would go out with a costume, like I literally was um, little mama, from Mean Girls, like Lindsay Lohan's character. I was like, okay, we're actually coming to be, you know, actual characters. Of course I do like cute, but like, it would just be lingerie and there'd be like a, a, a ear thrown in there. And I'm just like, no one's judging. I just didn't know, you didn't let me know. Cause I'm coming in here with my PG-13 off and then it's giving, <laughs> you know, it's giving, it's giving lingerie. But um, definitely for sure, like it's, it's crazy how like there's like an age limit as well on trick or treating. I feel like, if you are respectful, as long as you're not coming in and, you know, like, is there an age limit on um, trick or treat? Like, as long as you're not coming in and, like, grabbing, like, grabbing, like, an armful of stuff and being like, oh, okay, we'll figure it out. Mm -hmm. I pay bills, too. I do. Um, so, when I give you that bucket of candy, I'm not telling you to take the entire candy from there, but um, I can definitely say there shouldn't be an age limit on trick or treating. I feel like everybody should be able to trick or treat. And then um, as well, as well as uh, I also look forward to for Halloween. I also look forward to the um, 31 days. I actually have it on the TV right now. 31 days of Halloween um, featuring Freeform. Um, I just feel like just, you know, not to sound like an old head or nothing, but I just feel like the Halloween movies back in the day, like they just sounded they just they just slap differently like they just they just hit completely different like it was almost like comforting to see it you know like okay well you know i i got through this then thanksgiving then christmas is here like it was literally comforting like okay this is the season and like this is the season for you know scary like i, I don't mind if it's like spooky or thriller but like when it's just straight up gore like saw i'm just like okay. yeah i was like no 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 i was like once it starts getting to where it's gory i'm just like Claire is out. I'm completely out of it. But um, no, I really, I'm really excited to see what 31 Days. I think they have like a list of like which movies are showing. But I still feel like there's there's still a couple of ones I think that they are missing. Like I remember watching uh, one of the oldest ones. I remember it was like the remember for some reason in the 90s, like 97, 99. We're obsessed with Casper. And now we're the ones who's ghosting. Don't cancel me. But I was like, we were obsessed with Casper for some reason. We were obsessed with Casper. Like there was Casper and Wendy. And then um, there was Casper and Wendy. And there was like Casper and the three ghosts. And I was like, Casper and the three ghosts? He's talking about his brothers? Like what is happening? And then like there's like now because we're adults, we have nothing better to do. Like now there's 
Um, and now there's like a origin story, like Casper is actually like a middle-aged man who got, who um, was delived younger. And then he, I don't know, it was like a whole lore. And I was just like, let us have this movie. <laughs> I was like, I was, I was like, um, let us have this movie. Don't make this weird for us. But um, yeah, I can definitely say I'm looking forward to it. Um, and everybody's creative ideas. And then I'll be dropping my ideas as well. I'll probably show like a bunch of, bunch of shorts. So I'll be prepared for that. I was like, be prepared for that. Um, I'm going to be showing a bunch of shorts for the, um, just give you guys some ideas. Something that's like cost efficient. Nothing that's going to be too expensive because that was another thing too. Like Halloween, unless you're like a cosplayer like me, like me, when I buy my tip too for um, Halloween costumes as well would be to, um, my tips as well for Halloween costumes is like, don't buy anything you can't use again. Like me, I'm probably gonna buy, like let's say for example, I buy a black bodysuit. That's gonna be a ninja. That's gonna be Catwoman. That's gonna be Bumblebee. That's gonna be, um, I'm just thinking at the top of my head, like that's gonna be, um, what's her name? She posed like this. What's her name? Um, Natasha Romanoff, um, Scarlet Window. Scarlet Window? <laughs> You know what I'm trying to say, but like she, like that's gonna be for that too. Like, be smart about your purchases. Like, don't buy a specific costume. I'm also a fan of do like a builder costume. Like, do something that do a builder costume where you can have like somebody put like I want to say layers, but like do like a builder costume. Do something that like you can kind of like stretch out. Like, okay, this is like pieces from the other one. You know, so that would be my recommendation, but. Stay tuned for my hair rejuvenation of how I got my curls back after being in a protective style for two months. And don't forget to this. Don't forget to stutter. Cause what was that? <laughs> I don't know what that was. But don't forget to subscribe, share. It's Claire Hair. Viewers beware. <laughs>